In this video, we'll continue our study of the three eyes by looking at isotopes. An isotope are atoms of the same element, but with different masses. You got that? They're going to be atoms of the same element, but they'll have different masses. And the way they'll, they'll have different masses will be because they have a different number of neutrons. So let's look at some isotope notation. So x is going to represent our symbol, just like the symbols we'd find here on the periodic table. Z is going to be the atomic number, and remember that's how many protons that element has. And A is the mass number. You'll recall that there's three subatomic particles, protons, neutrons, and electrons. And only two of them have mass. Do you remember what those two are? Yeah, that's correct. It's the protons and the neutrons. The electrons have no mass, so they do not contribute to the mass of the atom. What contributes to the mass of the atom are the number of protons plus the number of neutrons. So let's do an example problem. Here we have carbon-14 and carbon-12. Now it's the same element, carbon and carbon. And what makes carbon carbon is the fact it has six protons. That's what we see here. Carbon has six protons. So once again, our definition for an isotope is atoms of the same element with a different number of neutrons. So how many neutrons does carbon-14 have? How many neutrons do we have here? Well, we know that the total mass of the atom is 14. And that's the number of protons plus the number of neutrons. So if we do 14 minus 6, that should tell us that carbon-14 has 8 neutrons. Carbon-12, however, only has 6 neutrons. So once again, where did these numbers come from? Let's review this. This 14 is a sum of the protons plus the neutrons. This 12 is the sum of the protons plus the neutrons. So the difference between carbon-14 and carbon-12 is the number of neutrons that they have. Carbon-14 has 8 neutrons, and carbon-12 has 6 neutrons. So these two carbon atoms are isotopes of each other.